Welcome to the support video for workload automation video series. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to configure Ctrl-M EM user to be able to generate all Ctrl-M reports. When running the Ctrl-M report, the client user must have certain access authorization or privilege in the Ctrl-M enterprise authorization setting. Let's log into workload automation GUI and I will show you some known error and some can run the report but no information from the generated file. Under Tools Domain, let's open the Control m reports. First, let's try to open the active jobs. From here, we're able to run the report successfully. However, when we open the generated CSV file, no data generated except the header. Let's try to open another sample report named audit. From this report, we get this error, user doesn't have enough access privilege. To check if the user and group has enough privilege and permission in running the reports, let's log in to Control M Configuration Manager or CCM using admin account. Go to security tab and then authorization. Let's check the test user if granted the required authorization. First. Check the folders tab definitions that need to access to generate the definition reports. Provide full access level for the specific tables or folders or use star for all. Second, check the active tab and under the display jobs and folders, click filter. Provide full access level for the specific tables, folders or jobs or use star for all. And third, under the Privilege tab, provide the full access level for the Privilege BIM reports and Forecast report. This will prevent or authorize the user to run Batch Impact Manager and History reports type in regards to the Privilege authorization. With regards to the audit type of report, wherein the user must be added under authorization in full or must be a member of admin group. Then click OK to save all the changes. By logging the current Control M client session, using the same test account, and launch the Control M reports again. Let's run again the same reports to show you the data are being generated successfully. Let me show you the active job reports compared previously. We can see now the jobs information from the report. Then let's try to open audit report wherein we can run and generate the report successfully now. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.